ladies and gentlemen, this is a ketchup and mustard hurricane red alert from me, the big T. But wait, there's more. Boom. On June 22nd, the GFS is drawing up a possibility of triple bogeys inbound. The one area we've been watching for a while, this area which we've been watching for a while, and then the newer area we are now watching. So stay tuned. The Euro is also drawing up a triple bogey situation inbound on the 22nd of June. So it is hot time to pay attention. Unless you don't want to, that's your call. Also, during Super Duper Giant Hail Week, we are still on the lookout for more severe weather today through the night and more severe weather tomorrow. So, I'm letting you know, there was a strong 6.6 .6 magnitude earthquake off Mexico's Baja California coast earlier today, but luckily, it wasn't super shallow, so it didn't cause a tsunami, and hopefully it didn't cause damage or kill anyone. And hey, once again, it is that time of the year where those truth channels and truthers start to tell everybody, hey, watch out, they're moving airships and tanks and military vehicles around the U.S. of A because martial law is totally imminent. And then it's like, no, they're just training for shit as usual. Because when you have a large military, you like to keep your people trained. But, hey, if you want to think that martial law is coming any day now, go right ahead. And don't be butthurt if, you know, all of military Twitter is pretty much dunking on you. And even community notes is like, hey, it's not that big a deal. But no, military helicopters are not invading California. And no, I don't think China's mil mobilized their military into Canada at the moment. No. They're not having at at walkers in Philadelphia attacking the rebels. And no, Polly Shore is not leading the charge. Um, picture unrelated. The out of sync interdimensional alien creatures are getting closer every day. These are shots out of Oklahoma from Kelton H. And those are definitely the most impressive sprite photographs. I've ever seen it here at Thor News. They get bigger and more detailed as time goes on. Unexplained mystery. What else? No, giant cats aren't attacking and taking over. In an interesting story, in my opinion. So, like, Joe Rogan and Elon Musk are now pushing hard for Robert Kennedy Jr., Robert F. Kennedy Jr., to be the main Democrat guy. Which is weird because they're both now leaning hardcore right. Anywho, but they basically were like, hey, we challenge, we will pay you $1.25 million to the charity of your choice to Peter Hotez, a virologist in Houston, um, to debate this dude on Joe's show. And Elon was like, yeah, I'll throw him money. Yeah, go debate him, donkey fucker or whatever. And they're like, oh, you're scared to come debate, which was weird for right before Father's Day. And then today, Alex Rosen, also known as I Fight for Kids, and Marissa Hansen showed up on Dr. Pete Hotez's doorstep to ask him why or if he was going to debate Joe Rogan and RFK Jr. dude. Yeah, she's cute. Um, what was it talking about? Um... But yeah, um, and I'll say Alex is, is, is a big dude. Um, and technically this is a picture of Alex and me from 2019 when we were tossing the football around. It, it's a strange, small world, man. Never know. But yeah, I mean, I consider Alex a friend. He is one of the most fearless human beings I've ever met. He had a channel on YouTube, I think it's on Rumble now, where he literally goes around and catfishes, catfishes uh, pedophile predators and then goes up and basically busts them on camera in person. Uh, he's done it I know, hundreds of times. He's got, I mean, I don't know. So his, his predator predator catching work is amazing and makes him legendary 
he is super hard to the right of me and he's a little QA nani, but I still, like I said, I consider him my friend and you know, his pedophile catching work is undeniable and pretty amazing in my opinion. Anyway, it was just weird because he was the main story on Twitter today. And here in 2020, when I didn't have a, I didn't have a, a car back in the day, uh, he actually took me to the grocery store. So, you know, during at the start of the pandemic, when I was all, dude, I need to go before the virus hits. Anyway, anyway, it's a small world. You never know who you'll meet eventually. Or one, you, you, when you meet someone, what they'll do in the future. Um, Giant Hale, Reed Timmer, this is from yesterday. And I know that um, I mentioned that a couple weeks ago, my cousin got hired and is on Tucker Carlson's video podcast team. Whatever the hell is the Twitter thing. So yeah, dude. And it's weird. Everyone on the right thinks I'm left and everyone on the left thinks I'm to the right when I'm in the middle. And I try to do, I do my damnedest to stay in the middle. Although the only thing they say is in the middle are street lions and dead armadillos. But somehow, magically, I've survived. Thank you, Astro Fight Club. I hope everyone had a wonderful Father's Day. It's pretty emotional for me all day. My dad was in the Air Force. My stepdad was in the Air Force. And they both passed away in 20, 2006, 2018. I miss them both more than words can express. But I hope you had a wonderful day. And shout out to all the dads out there. Uh, I don't know. I just. But I guess, you know, that's one of the reasons Elon Musk bought Twitter. And so he's going to do everything he can to get you and y'all to engage with it, which is why I think they're pushing politics so hard 505 days out before any type of an election. I want to say again, uh, Biden's 80, Trump 77. There's a chance we get to the election and neither one of those dudes are still alive. There's a chance you won't be alive. There's a chance I won't be alive. I'm just saying. I mean, last time, at this time, before the 2016 election, Jeb Bush was polling ahead at 22%, and Trump only had 1% back in 2015. So nobody knows what's going to happen, man. Do you know what I'm saying? I hope you do. It's going to be a crazy summer, and like 89% of all people are convinced the world's going to end sometime soon. And the heat isn't going to help anything. That is good. This is up until the 30th. So Texas and the South are expecting extreme, excessive heat through the end of the month, probably through July and then August. I was hoping for that damn mini ice age, but no, it doesn't look like it'll be here this year. The Kuluia volcano cone has collapsed in Hawaii. Every once in a while, I get tired of being shadow banned, but I still show up and put in the work because that's what Gen X does, man. They're kind of like the glue that keeps it together. The United Kingdom and the Isle of Man. Got a shit ton of rain today. Gratuitous picture of a beautiful woman in a sundress and boots. Just because I'm shallow. Pop a tape hell. Smoking just like a dragon. Major massive floods in India. And the oceans by the UK and Europe are really, 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 really hot compared to their usual average and oh my god poop your pants and do the france dance because an unstable sunspot has fired a solar flare right at us will it disrupt the jade helm martial law shit yeah i don't know probably not because that shit ain't gonna happen what's it talking about oh yeah the thingy it'll amplify the unstable energies i want to get my sense of humor back Man, if I don't go on a diet and start working out hardcore, my fat ass is never going to get to make out again. But those cotton candy Oreos do seem to be delicious. I'll try them out. China kind of looked like Mars in some spots yesterday. I don't know why anyone wants to go somewhere where the sky's all orange and there, there's like no actual trees or lakes or cool shit to do. I guess it's because Elon does it. And now, you know, like 3% of people on Earth, whatever Elon wants to do, they're like, yeah, I want to do that too. Whatever you want to do, Elon, we'll follow you. No matter what, with brain chip in your head or buying some 
digital devil coin or going to Mars or, uh, I don't know. Maybe I'm just jealous because he can basically have any woman anywhere at any time on planet Earth and even like five at a time if he wants. All right, now I've depressed myself while I was trying to cheer you up and keep you updated on all the crazy shit that may be happening this week. God bless everyone. Stay cool. And I appreciate you.